Hello, and I'm going to show you how to do the three sink sanitizer in the Golden Bolt area. It is a little bit different than using the, the classroom. Um, it might be different east versus west. This is east cleanup area. So if you want to walk in here, you can see we have storage and then we have the cleanup area. Rather than bringing the dishes back and forth from the classroom, which we don't really want you to do, we want everything to kind of stay housed here, you'll be doing your dishes here. It's really important, whoever's the manager that day, make sure that you guys uh, have this area spotless and cleaned at the beginning of your shift. So essentially, if you are working period one, you're going to fill these things. So we can start off with your hot water. Make sure that the drain is in the sink. It's going to hold it. It's going to fill up pretty quickly because these basins, sink basins, are pretty, um, they're not very big. You're going to take a little bit of Dawn dish soap, just like we would in the classroom, and just get that a little uh, soapy. All right. So we're, I'm going to let that fill. Then, so that's your wash thing. So essentially, everything will be thrown away in the garbage can, and then you can set your dishes here. If you're not busy, it's best to clean as you go. Um, but most of the cleanup will be done at the end of each period. And then, so don't leave dishes for the next period, all right? Um, that is a big no-no. Okay, it's not the next class's job to clean your dishes. Um, the next thing, so we have our, you know, typically with the three sink sanitizer scrape first, so step one. First sink is your wash sink, 110 degree water, which is just bath water, make sure it's warm. And then the next sink is your rinse sink, so it just rinses off the soap suds. Um, there should be no food when it gets to this uh, third step or second sink. And, um, and then your last sink, uh, this is 110 degrees, 110 degrees, your last sink is your sanitizer sink. So we have what's called sani tablets, in the classroom, we have it specified. It kind of it levels off. Um, so you just press a button in here. We're not going to have you press a button. You're going to have to use one of these sani tablets. So one of these sani tablets is going to be the correct ratio that's going to kill all the germs um, and make it to a safe level. So I have my water here. So I'm going to move this on over to here. And this is just water, like I said. Let's pretend this is filled. I'm going to use the same water. I'm going to drop my sanity tablet in there, and it's going to create a sanitizer, okay? For chemical sanitizers, it only needs to be 70 degrees or higher if you're using a chemical sanitizer. If we weren't using these sanity tablets, then it would have to be 170 degrees, which would be like simmering water, which is why we use the sanity tablet, all right? Um, so as long as it's warm, you're good to go, all right? So let me just quickly recap the process. Scrape first into the garbage before you bring your dishes over here. You're going to wash here. Make sure that there are sponges, towels, etc. You would get that at the beginning of your shift during period one. And then bring dirty towels back. Period two would bring dirty towels back. So wash. Then you're going to rinse off soap. And then you're going to let your dish sit in here for at least 30 seconds or more. All right? And then you would air dry. All right? And then all of those products are going to stay in, in this area for the next period or for the next day. You do not want to bring equipment back to the room. The only things that should be brought back and forth from the room is sponges or towels for, for cleaning because we obviously don't have a, a washing machine and dryer down here. All right? If you have any additional questions, make sure your teacher knows. Thank you.